Good morning, guys. Sitting here watching some Christian Guzman. Um, about to eat me some food real quick. Uh, headed home again for Easter. Always on the road once again. About to spend time with my family. Uh, see them and just relax. Um, as you guys know, I'm a, I'm a big family person. I'm an only child, so I feel like you know spending time with my family is was what I really want to do. And cherish those moments with them. So I don't know what's going to be happening this weekend. I don't know what I'm going to get into. I don't know what workouts I'm going to do. I don't know anything planned. I don't have anything planned. But I just wanted to vlog and record for you guys and show you what happens, what goes on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have this. And I'll show you what I eat in the next clip. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this week long of sporadic, crazy, sad, good, bad vlog. <laughs> Let's get it. So I got some chicken and rice right here with a little bit of pan express teriyaki sauce, just a little bit put on top. And some, I think, chicken and broccoli rice I'm gonna eat. Um, so yeah, trying to keep everything, martyr, the portions, um, starting off keeping my portions smaller, then starting to clean it up, the diet. Well, that's how I like to train and slim down because when I just like go straight at eliminating foods and stuff like that, I start craving and then the diet just goes off hand. So start with limiting my portions and then changing the foods as as I progress in the, into the cut or whatever. So I'm in traffic right now, sitting in traffic, which is great. And my question is, why do people like the sign way back said lane, left lane ending? So why are people still riding in the left lane and trying to get over last minute? Like that gets me every time. Like it told you like four miles ago that the lane was going to end. You should be getting over like now. I don't get it. Sort of the process. What is up, guys? Hope you guys enjoyed that cool little edit I did. I'm getting in the video. Sorry for me not uh, uploading in a couple days, but uh, just I wanted to enjoy time with my family for Easter and just relax and, like I said, enjoy time with them. But I wanted to make this video just to talk about you guys know I do at home workouts and I also go to the gym and stuff. So I wanted to just do like a little compare, contrast type deal with that. And, um, uh, show you what, I'm, what it's like. So basically, I go to the gym probably about three three times a week. I use that to help build muscle, just get strength and stuff like that. And I also can do that for my at-home workouts as well. The insanity type stuff I do, the the agility type stuff. Um, some of the work, workouts aren't as strenuous as the stuff I do in the gym, but they're more, more for uh, muscular endurance, but it's still about the same. So I have that. Also, just working out in general, um, the time difference. Uh, most of these workouts I do at home are like 30 minutes or so long. And it's, it's great for when I'm on the go and I got to get out. Most of the time I'm at the gym for like uh, about an hour and a half, almost two hours, which can take up a lot of time in my day. And with being in college, it's it's not really optimal 
um, sometimes. So that's why I choose to do, you know, max 30 in the dorm room or whatever. And when I go home, I try to do this uh, just to keep my endurance up and also keep my cardiovascular strength up. So as you're seeing me do here, some of the same movements. I'm doing a P90X workout right here. And it's also the same that same movement I'd probably do in the gym. Some of the same movements are the same. So they, they both go hand in hand in some aspects. So so there's no right way or wrong program to do. If you if you like doing at home workouts for the simple reason of of convenience, or you have a gym in your home, or you want to get in and out, you don't have a lot of time, then great. If you want to go to the gym and you know be like that crew that's always lifting weights and in there for almost two hours and do that but I like to mix um, mix them both in and that's kind of what makes my YouTube channel so unique is because I also do that at home workouts I'm also at the gym so I like to mix the two in and show that they both can help you and not one of the others better so I hope you guys in, enjoyed this um, the rest of this video please give it a thumbs up I'm gonna get back in this routine now that I'm back from Oklahoma uh, uploading more um, because I'm catching up on makeup work and I'm almost done. So stay tuned for videos that you want to see. Let comment below on what you want to see, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys for all the support, and uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna, only gonna get better from here on out. Peace. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Just finished this with cardio. <sighs> that workout. Whew, I'm tired. But I just want to talk about going back to your roots. You know, never forget where you came from. Those workouts I do. It's P90X stuff, you know. That's what got to me where I am today. Has helped propel this journey to get better and better. So I always go back to them when I need more motivation. I need to remember stuff. I always go back to those because those are my basics. My base where it all started off. So those work out mean so much to me. So never forget where you came from. Your roots are what got you to where you are today. And to use those to help get you better, get you stronger, get you more, more motivated to be better and better each and every day. So yeah, just some cardio, I'm gonna shower and probably eat and see what the rest of the day has in store for me. Woo! Counterclockwise my wrist go. Counterclockwise my wrist go.